Welcome back, everyone, to the Bears Traffic Plays YouTube channel. Today is Thursday, October 31st, and I'm back breaking down some more plays for Thursday Night Football on Amazon Prime. I don't know about you guys, but that's starting to piss me off. All the commercials, all the advertisements, it's all going on on Amazon Prime. I love Amazon as much as the next person, but I hear that commercial 15 times a day on the radio. It, it feels like the entire week as well, 15 times a day until Thursday. We're going to be breaking down the Jets going up against the Texans on Amazon Prime, and uh, I'm also going to be breaking down my two favorite player props as well. Before we get to those plays, take a look at the Monday night football plays between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Giants. Uh, we did have a sweep, 3-0 day, Pittsburgh minus 6 against the Giants. Darius Slayton over 2.5 catch against Pitt, and then Najee Harris over 64.5 rushing yards against the Giants. Nothing was hard either. Uh, the props were easy. Both of them cashed in the first half. Pitt. A little dicey um, going into the third quarter, but Russie uh, Wilson, sussy for Russie, he did his thing. Uh, so Russell Wilson has been really good for Pitt so far. Updated leaderboard, uh, 3-0 day, 58-42 now through the NFL season. Let's take a look at the, Mon or, uh, the Thursday night football game. Jets going up against Texans. It's a new week for the New York Jets over the last couple weeks. They've been dealing with a bunch of things that it seemed out of their control. They blamed a couple losses on their head coach that they fired, Robert Sala. Then they lost another game after that. He was gone. Uh, they decided that they were not winning games because they didn't have enough help with the wide receiver spot, so they brought in Devontae Adams. It's now been two games with the new addition of their wide receiver, and the Jets continue to lose. They continue to lessen their chances to make the playoffs. I'd say they got about a 5% chance to win right now or to make the playoffs, that is. But this is a team full of excuses, and they don't have a, a head coach. I think the interim coach is not a head coach. He's a great defensive coordinator, but – He's not a good head coach. I'm going to take the Jets on the money line, though. I've been waiting for the Jets to win a game. This is probably going to be the game that they end up winning because the Texans, they're limping into this one. Houston hasn't looked great offensively over the last couple weeks, mainly because all of their injuries still missing Nico Collins in that lineup. They lost Stephon Diggs for this season as well with that ACL tear. Stephon Diggs is not going to be back this season. Nico not going to be back in this game. So it's going to be Tank Dell, Joe Mixon, and C.J. Stroud. The only one thing that has been consistent for the Jets has been the defense. They've played great defensively all season long. This is the top five defense in the NFL. They just need to finish drives, not rely on the kicking game because they have lost three consecutive games because of Greg Zerline. Aaron Rodgers finishes drives in this one with touchdowns instead of missing three field goals. I think the Jets take this one at home. Give me them on the money line as the play. Let's go over to the player props for this Thursday night game. We are going to start with Tank Dell, over 57.5 receiving yards. I did say that the Jets have been the best defense in the NFL, and it does show on paper. They're only giving up 296.9 yards per game, giving up 161.1 yards of the air per game. You have to assume with all the stars out for the Texans that Sauce Gardner is going to be following around Tank Dell for most of the game. I'm still going to go with the over 57.5 receiving yards because this is one of the only targets left for C.J. Stroud to throw to, and I don't know if you guys remember this, but Tank Dell, 2023, he was a fantastic rookie, had 700-plus yards, seven touchdowns. He was the big play guy for the Texans until they, that really bad uh, leg injury that he had. We haven't seen him be used a ton this season because the Texans have all these weapons, Nico, Stephon Diggs, but both those guys are out in this game. I do expect C.J. Stroud to find him himself some Tank Dell in this one. In the last game against the Colts, he didn't finish with a lot of yards, 35 yards, one touchdown. Not what we're looking for for the over 57.5, but whenever you look at the targets and receptions, the value is there for this low number. We just need him to find some open space on some deep balls. He does have four plus targets in every game so far this season, having a total of 17 targets over the last three games. So it's not like CJ Stroud isn't trying to give him the ball. He's just got to get a little bit more open in this game. I'm going to go with the over here, 57.5 receiving yards as the play. I think that's the biggest game he has on the season. And for the next play and the final play, we're going to go to a guy who I've used a ton this year, Taking Brees Hall, over 32.5 receiving yards, and I think everybody can agree that whenever the Jets get Brees Hall, the ball, they are much better. This is your most explosive player offensively. I know Garrett Wilson's very good. I know Devontae Adams is very good. Whenever Brees Hall has the ball in his hands, he can take it to the house every single time. The Jets have been able to move the ball up and down the field very effectively whenever Brees Hall gets himself into the passing game. And Aaron Rodgers, he doesn't have to move a lot. He can move a ton in the pocket already because he's old and he's a little bit injured from last year, but... He can stay in the pocket here, set up Brees Hall for a lot of screens in this game. In his last game against the Patriots, they were able to sniff out all the attempts on the screen, so didn't have a very good game. But against the Steelers and the Buffalo Bills in the last two weeks before that game, 160 yards of total receiving yards, 11 catches, 15 targets. I think this is a very good option for the Jets. They need to win this game. Brees Hall coming out of the backfield has a big game. Over 32.5 receiving yards 
as the final play. Let's go over the recap graphic. We're going to take the Jets on the money line. Tank Dell over 57.5 receiving yards going up against the Jets. And then Brees Hall over 32.5 receiving yards going up against the Texans. Guys, it's going to do it. For the NFL plays and props for Thursday, October 31st, late of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop against this video and subscribe down below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching.